This is Traffic Jet Pro. The printer was developed in partnership between Avery Denison and Vanguard Digital Printing Systems. This printer is based on their VKR 3200 HS. That printer was used as the base for Traffic Jet Pro and built up to our specifications, designed around the needs of the traffic and safety market. As we walk through the demo today, we will take you through the full process, starting with loading a roll of sheeting, printing the material, daily maintenance, adding ink, and finally, taking out the printed media. Let's start with loading a roll. First, the technicians are removing the shaft closest to you. There is already a white roll loaded on the far side and they will be loading a fluorescent orange roll. They will load it into the machine and close the chucks on both sides and then use compressed air to expand the bladder inside the shaft. When the bladder expands, it pushes out a series of barbs that run the length of the shaft to hold the material core in place. They will then feed the material through the nip roller and line it up to ensure it will feed straight through the printer. Once the material is lined up, they will engage the nip roller that runs the length of the printer to hold the material in place so that they can feed it through the rest of the printer. They will then do the same thing on the front of the printer. You can see he is feeding the material through the nip roller, just like on the back side of the printer. Here you see him taping the reflective sheeting directly to the core. Every roll of sheeting we ship has a PET leader on the outside of the roll. The leader can also be used to start the roll to minimise wasted material. As we begin printing, take a look at the shiny strip in the centre of the back rail. That is the magnetic linear drive that this printer uses to move the head carriage back and forth. Most printers use a belt driven system. For these, the carriage is connected to a metal or plastic belt that is driven by a motor. For the magnetic linear drive, the back rail is a series of magnets and there is a corresponding set of magnets on the back of the carriage that flips polarity to drive the carriage back and forth. This results in higher carriage speeds, faster acceleration and deceleration each print pass, fewer mechanical contact points and reduced vibration resulting in more accurate printing. For this printer to achieve the speeds and to offer immediate lamination after printing, we have chosen to use UV LED inks for this platform. What that means is that the inks are cured by exposing them to UV light. That UV light causes a chemical reaction in the inks to drive curing. Just above the grey cross rail is a strip of darkened glass. This is there to shield your eyes from the UV light used to cure the inks on the printer. In this video, on the fluorescent orange roll, we are running three 48 inch by 48 inch work zone signs. And on the white roll, we are running an assortment of traffic and touristic signs. In total, this print job is 96 square feet. The original traffic jet printer printed 88 square feet per hour, which would mean this print job would have taken over an hour to complete. On Traffic Jet Pro, this print job would take just under seven minutes as we are printing at 850 square feet per hour. This is the fastest traffic sign printer on the market. Take a look at the true traffic color spot inks and the print quality from the printer. On Traffic Jet Pro, standard print resolution for traffic sign production is 605 by 1200 DPI, which is over twice the resolution of the next closest competitor. As we shift over, you can see the traffic red printing on the stop sign. And on the other roll, we have black printing on fluorescent orange. There are two things to notice here. The black is dark and opaque, where you are unable to see any sheeting through the print. In some of the glare, you can also see some of the texture on the surface from the inks, as they have almost a satin appearance. This is common with any UV printer, as the inks are being cured so quickly, the ink doesn't have time to flow out and create a glossy finish. You are now seeing a head-on view of the printer. You can see the stop sign with the traffic red, the street sign with the traffic blue, and the work zone sign. Notice the highlighted area on the carriage. The UV LED lights are switching back and forth to always be on the leading edge of the carriage. In use, what is happening is the printer is actually printing behind the light and the inks will start curing on the next print pass. 
The original traffic jet we launched was an eight color printer. We have learned that we can simplify that sum and have set up this printer with six colors to minimize the number of inks you need to keep on your shelf and minimize the number of heads needed in the printer. Traffic blue, which is used not just as a spot color, but when shaded down to roughly 50%, also functions as the cyan, magenta, traffic yellow, traffic black, traffic red, and traffic green. Traffic brown is being produced on the printer as a blend from the black, yellow, and red. Traffic warboy green is being produced on the printer as a blend from the green, yellow, and black. For non-regulated colors, all six colors are used to produce an extremely wide color gamut, giving you more flexibility on the actual colors that can be reproduced. The printer uses six Kiyosara KJ4A print heads. Each head is 200 millimeters in length with two channels each having 1,328 nozzles, with each pair of heads printing two colors. Later in the video, we will take a closer look at these heads. As we back out here, you can see more of the control panels on the printer itself. You can see the stop sign with the traffic red on the left has now completed, and just above that, the mile marker increment signs with traffic green are starting to print. On the other side, the first of three work zone signs has been completed. If you look just below the grey cross beam, you can see a red cable that runs the entire print width of the machine. This is an e-stop to allow someone to quickly shut down the printer in case of emergency. There are also e-stops on the far left and right of that cable. And the back side of the printer has the same setup. At the back of the printer is the dual roll system capable of running rolls up to 100 yards. The little black box is your tension control for that roll. There is another control on the right for the other roll. You will notice that the white roll is about 30% smaller than the fluorescent orange roll. The screw hole on the central shaft for the white roll is turning much faster than the other. This is only possible due to the fact that the system has independent clutches and tension controls for each roll. Traffic Jet Pro has one of the smallest footprints in the industry, despite the fact that it prints two rolls side by side. The printer is 19 feet wide and pretty shallow at just 3.8 feet deep. Here you can see the UV guards that we saw previously have been flipped down to give you a better view of what is happening as it prints. You can see some of the traffic yellow printing on the white roll on the far side. On the leading edge of the carriage, you will see an L bracket off the edge of the print carriage. This is the crash sensor. If during printing the sheeting buckles or wrinkles, this crash sensor is what will come into contact with that obstruction first and stopping the carriage before there is a chance of a head strike. This printer prints in four pass mode. As referenced earlier, this job is printing at 680 square feet per hour. That speed is independent of the material type. The only variable that will affect print speed is the width of the sheeting. As the rolls get narrower, the carriage needs to stop and start more often to print the same amount of material. Here you can see a better view of the traffic yellow. Just above that is a full process color print just above the nip roller. At this point, the second work zone sign on the right is now complete and the other is roughly halfway through. As the printing continues, you will notice the wind quality as the printed material is rewound on the other side of the printer. Everything is winding up perfectly straight. When large jobs that are tiled over multiple prints are being printed, that wind quality has a direct relation to how those printed tiles match up. If the media begins to wander or telescope, it can cause the print to stretch, resulting in tiles that do not line up correctly. The print job is now complete. For this section, the carriage will be moved all the way to the right of the printer, giving a better view of what is going on inside. If you look at the top rail, you will see a series of colored dots, R, G, Y, M, C, and K. Those are our sub-tanks for the red, green, yellow, magenta, blue, and black inks. The inks feed from the ink reservoir to the sub-tanks, through the black tubing below, through the round discs you can see along the back, which are your final filters to pull out any particulates before the printhead. From there, it feeds directly to the heads. Just along the front rail, you can see a series of levers. These are your purge valves. 
This is used to purge ink from each ink channel during the cleaning process, which we will show you in more detail here shortly. The carriage has now been moved back to the left side of the printer, directly over the catch pan. The technician is going to flip the purge valve for the red ink first, and then the switch for the green. What this is doing is wetting out all of the nozzles and removing any debris that may have built up. As we mentioned earlier, each of these heads you see here is 200mm in length. He's now going to go through and do an initial wipe with the UV head wipe and then come back with a clean wipe after that. After that is complete, you would then print a nozzle check to ensure all of the print head nozzles are firing correctly. With Traffic Jet Pro, as with the entire Traffic Jet family of printers, Avery Dennison is your single point of contact for the sheeting, printer, inks, or service. Our dedicated technical service team are experts in every step of the process. We offer an optional service contract once your first year warranty on the printer expires. Your local sales contact can provide you with more details. In this section, you will see how to add ink to the Traffic Jet Pro. Unlike our other systems, the inks do not ship in a cartridge or bag, but in one litre bottles. Here are the reservoirs for each of the six inks. The technician will remove the cap from the yellow reservoir and pour in the yellow ink. There is an onboard vacuum after the ink reservoirs that will pull out any entrapped air from the inks and help to maintain flow of the inks to the print heads. Now the material has been printed. Let's see how to take it off the printer. What's shown here is a little exaggerated. In your case, you'll want to cut it right after the printed area to minimize any sheeting waste. You then tape down the end of the roll. He is now removing the center chuck and then releasing the air from the shaft. The roll can now be removed from the printer and is ready for the overlay to be laminated. This is Traffic Jet Pro. Join the next revolution in traffic sign printing. Made possible by Avery Dennison.